Hey, what up, though? You already know how it goes. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment. As long as you comment, share. Watch one of the ads for me. Do something. Appreciate everybody who support me. All the positivity, like I say in every other video. We're going to jump right into it. Sale etiquette. The rules in the sale. It's imperative you follow these rules because no matter how big you are, no matter how much more tougher you are than your cellmate, how, how stronger you are, whatever, it don't matter. You vulnerable when you sleep. Everybody vulnerable when you sleep. So you don't want to wake up to no hot water or no knives in your face or somebody punching the lights out you. Cell etiquette. Now let me tell you why and give you an example of why cell etiquette is important to follow these rules. I told y'all this story once a long time ago. It was involved in another video, so some of y'all might have not seen it unless you've seen that video. I forget which one it was, but it was a long time ago. Probably not even on this page. So anyway... Got a brother man. Forget his name. I think it was maybe Johnson Bay. We just say Johnson Bay. Excuse me. No, it was Johnson Neal. So Johnson Neal come up to us one day and he boiling mad. Got about 65 years old. He on a cane. He like five years past his out day. He was supposed to have been went home, but he keep getting in trouble. He's an older guy. He's he in his sixties on a cane cool guy you could tell he a little bugged out from all the time that he did you could tell just a little bit but it i didn't think it was that deep so he come up there he sit me in the head muff t down the head security and he say uh Mose, i need a knife okay what happened why what's going on he said my bunkie left the window open so we just sitting here waiting for what's coming after leaving the window open. I thought he was about to say he left the window open and then he tried to throw all my stuff out of it or something. We looking for something. He's like, he left my window open. Okay, what's, what else more? It's cold outside. He know damn well the window shouldn't be open, especially without asking. This is the second time he did that. He disrespected me. It's disrespectful. He trying to freeze me out and get me out the room. That's probably what it is because he don't want to be my bunkie. Okay, did he do anything else? No, that's it. So you mean to tell me that you want to stab this guy because he left the window open? Why didn't you just talk to him? I don't know. He should know better. He's 23 years old. He should know better. We had to remind him more, man. He just came to prison, man. He young. And even if he'd been in prison for 30, 40 years and he did it, why would you stab him instead of just talking to him, saying this just too cold out for the window to be open how do you know he intentionally trying to freeze you out all the complaining you've been doing about him all the being you've been doing about him all the times we don't had to talk to him over little petty stuff he ain't said nothing and he's been cool and cordial more you can't go stab him over that he wanted to stab this guy because he left the window open so that takes me into my first rule but this is no particular order the first rule is when you open the window, and especially if it's cold outside, ask your bunkie, does he mind? Because he might have allergies. They might be cutting the grass and he don't want to smell it. It might be too cold. He might want to keep the air circulating in the room if y'all got multiple fans. So just ask him to open the window. It's not being a punk. It's not being a coward. It's common courtesy. Ask him, can you open the window? Because that could be a dangerous situation, unfortunately. I don't make the rules. Don't make the rules. Go in the comments and ask anybody else been to prison in my line. Because y'all might think I'm lying with that one. Because I can't believe in myself. Ask to open the window. If you pass gas, say excuse me. Go get the air freshener that's just broke up soap in a sock and you hit it against the wall. Or you put baby powder in it and hit it against the wall, the sock, and air it out. Say excuse me. Because if you passing gas and you're not saying excuse me, it's very rude. And you don't want somebody to think that you're trying to say that you're available to them and them not be homosexual because they might take it that way. I don't see any people. Hey, man, why the F you keep passing gas down there? What you trying to say? You want me to run up in you? What you think I'm a F? You think I'm a homosexual? And go crazy. So open the door, whatever. Just say excuse me. That's all you got to do. We know it's natural to pass gas and you're living in the same habitat. So sometimes you can't leave the room. So say excuse me. And if you can, leave out the room outside the door and do it. Okay? No eating in the middle of the night. No rattling no chip bags while somebody sleep. 
Don't do it. Don't be waking people about their sleep because they get really, really mad about it. If you want to move rooms, you inform your bunkie first that you want to move rooms and get in a room with your mans, your homeboy, your girlfriend, whatever. You inform him that. Because if you feel he if he if he feel you went to the police and said some foul stuff about him to move, he gonna feel a certain type of way. Or you don't give him the opportunity to go say, hey, I want a bunkie that I know that I'm cool with. Because now he'll just get a random bunkie. And that's very disrespectful. And I've seen guys have to lock up over that. They have to go to the hall. Gotta ask. Can you move rooms? Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's very, very, very disrespectful. You bet not masturbate in the room while your homeboy up there sleep. Because if he feel the bed shaking, that's your behind. My man's tapo stabbed the guy in his head for that. Felt the bed rolling. Look down. He in his pants. He wait till he fall asleep, stab him in his head and beat him up. My boy Sandy Tapo, look him up, crazy Chaldean. One of the craziest Chaldeans I ever seen in my life. Out his mind. But he a, he a warrior, he a trooper. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And, he, and what's crazy about it is, he from the suburbs. He not from the hood. But he's still a monster. Still a monster. He'll be home soon if he can make his out days because he keep getting flopped. Got, got a bad anger problem. Don't be... Rolling your bunky down. Don't be blowing them down again. Don't have people in the room without asking. Something come up missing, we got to know who to blame and look at. So don't be having guys running in and out your room all day. Don't be having sex in the room unless you ask. If that's what you into, you better go to the shower or something like that. That's If your bunky not into that, he's not going to lie with it at all. Or go to your boyfriend room or your girlfriend room and do it. Where it's, it might be okay at. But you definitely want to ask. Don't touch none of your bunky stuff at all. Ask them. If y'all got that type of relationship where y'all can go in each other's stuff, then that's cool. But if not, don't ever take a bag of chips and say, hey, I'm going to pay you on store day. Or, hey, somebody about to give me another bag of chips, I'm going to give it back to you. Don't go touch this stuff. Don't be staring at nobody's kids' pictures that's on the wall too long. At all. Lights out. After 9 o'clock. 9, 9.30. If y'all both don't have the lights on, don't turn them on. Ask them, hey, I, you mind if I turn the light on real quick? I'm about to look for something. That's just simple respect. I know y'all like, oh, man, that's that's some kid stuff. Or, man, you bossing down doing that. No, it's respect, and it can save your eyeball. I like all my, my limbs. I like all my body parts. I like that I don't you know, have a bunch of stab wounds in my face. It's just simple, simple, simple respect. Know who you bunking with, okay? At all times. Because guys will steal your pictures and go masturbate to them. You don't want to be locked down with any sex offender or anything like that. And if you're not homosexual, you shouldn't bunk with somebody homosexual because it leaves ideas for people to think, unfortunately. You're not supposed to care what nobody thinks in society or whatever, but in there, it's imperative to survival. And you don't want another guy thinking that you in the room with his girlfriend doing anything. Or the girlfriend get mad at you. Or not your girlfriend, but his girlfriend get mad at you and go tell him he keep he keep trying to touch me. He made me give him something last night. He uh took all my stuff. And them guys will go crazy and kill you over what's theirs. They prison wise. They'll kill you. Make sure you clean your room every morning. It's not junky and nasty. Make up your bed because people end up being neat in prison. Make sure you wipe down the walls. Mop the floors. Put some shampoo in the uh, mop bucket to give it a smell. Period. Don't touch your bunky TV or turn it without asking them. Don't do it. That ties into using any of his stuff without permission because that could be detrimental to you. Those are simple, basic rules to coincide living peacefully with another man in the room 23 22 hours a day 16 hours a day it's hard and it's a lot of rules but it is what it is that's how you survive peace